Hi everyone, my name is Farhana and I'm going to share with you guys a skin disease called actinic keratosis. But first, let us go through this integumentary system. So, the integumentary system consists of the skin, which is the largest and the heaviest organ in the human body. The skin consists of three major layers, which are the outermost, epidermis, the middle layer, dermis, and the subcutaneous tissue. So our skin carries a lot of function and some of it are protecting us. It, it acts as the first line of defense where it protects us from the outside bacteria and pathogen. Because of our skin has the nerve, free nerve ending and the sensory receptor, we can also sense temperature like cold and hot through our skin. Other than that, our skin carries an important role in regulating the body temperature through sweating. So, have you seen people with this skin condition? Actually, they are, they are called actinic keratosis. This skin disease results in scaly rough lesions on our skin. It is caused by UV radiation and long sun exposure. This means that it doesn't happen overnight. The skin disease is more likely to happen if you expose yourself under the sun for too long frequently without a proper UV protection. Vast majority cases are harmless, however, long-term UV damage could lead to skin cancer. Now, let's move on to the symptoms of actinic keratosis. How do you know if you have actinic keratosis? The visible symptoms on the skin are rough, dry patches, and in some cases, a hard, wart-like surface. They can be in, they can be in variation of colors, including pink, red, or dark brown. Anyone experiencing this disease might even feel like burning sensation, bursting, or even bleeding. When you go to doc the doctor, the doctor will examine your skin, and sometimes will take biopsy of the skin to diagnose the accurate result of the disease. However, will we not, there are treatment for this disease. One of the choices of treatment for this disease is this cream, which is the fluorouracil cream, this cream, the imiquinoid cream, and two others. Other than that, patient can also choose to undergo the chemical peel or, or the thyroid surgery where the skin is frozen by the liquid nitrogen. Since this skin disease does not happen overnight, there are things that you can do to prevent this from happening. Some of it are to apply sunscreen every day. Make sure you have a broad spectrum for at least 30 SPF. Mine is 50. This is to make sure that it blocks the UVA and UVB. Next, make sure to avoid sun exposure when the UV is most intense in the afternoon during 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And lastly, you can wear sun safe clothing like cap, long sleeve shirt, and long sleeve pants. So now I'm going to moving on on the prevalence of the disease. Based on research, Australia has the highest frequency of actinic keratosis with an estimated of 37 to 55 percent in Australian individuals over the age of 40. It's most likely due to the population, fair skin. In other words, they have less melatonin, which is the, the cells that produce pigment on the skin. That's all for my sharing. Thank you for watching.